action figures in play! Welcome to the newest edition of TNI News with your host, JC. everybody, JC here and welcome to a Monday edition of TNI News. Now we've got a lot to cover today including a lot of Marvel Legend reveals that were made earlier this morning during the Hasbro fan stream. But before we get into the Marvel news, I just wanted to touch base on a couple of other things. So first of all, an update to a story I talked about last week in regards to the WWE Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mashup figures that were revealed during WrestleMania weekend by Mattel. So the main thing I just wanted to let you guys know is it has been confirmed that these figures will be released as Target Store exclusives here in the United States. I don't have an exact release date on these, but I suspect they'll probably release, be released sometime this summer. So just to go over the figures that are slated for the first wave in this line, we're going to be getting Coffee Kingston as Michelangelo, Seth frickin' Rollins as Leonardo, Xavier Woods as Donatello, Rey Mysterio as Raphael, Roman Reigns as Shredder, and Cody Rhodes as Casey Jones. So again, these figures here in the United States will be Target Store exclusives. Haya Toys has revealed a new Star Trek 112 scale figure. This is based on the Chris Pine movies. It's Dr. McCoy. So this is a six inch figure. It is available for pre-order now at places like our sponsor Big Bad Toy Store. The cost of this is gonna be about $110. With this figure, you get multiple head sculpts, which honestly I can't say from these images. They look too much like the actor, but there you go. You get multiple pairs of hands. You get tricorder, phaser, and some other medical gear that he used in the movie. So again, uh, from the new Star Trek or newer Star Trek movies, we've got Dr. McCoy from Hyatt Toys in six inch scale. And as I said, this is available for pre-order now. For you Operation Monster Force fans, the new line of six inch figures from Fresh Monkey Fiction, we've got a look at the new Kilowarg Night Hunter figure. So I guess not to be mistaken with a Kilowog from Green Lantern. But anyway, this figure, which will be offered exclusively in the United States at Big Bad Toy Store, is going to be going up for pre-order this summer. And when more details become available, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Okay, and then let's get into the Marvel Legend reveals that were done this morning during Hasbro's fan stream. So first of all, it was all comic book based figures, no... Uh, Deadpool Wolverine movie figure reveals. I wasn't really expecting them. Dan Young had even warned us this weekend that, that not to expect any kind of MCU reveals during today's fan stream. The Deadpool movie figure reveals will likely come via somebody like Marvel.com or some other corporate owned media website. The movie comes out in July, so I'm thinking we'll probably see those figures revealed next month sometime, maybe towards the end of May. But for today's live stream or fan stream, whatever you want to call it, it was all comic book based figures. And overall, I thought they were pretty cool reveals. Um, these are all part of their new uh, fall program, uh, Marvel 85th anniversary uh, figures that comes in special like, like packaging. So like we've seen them been doing the last several years with these anniversary lines. So uh, they said initially with this line, there's going to be 10 releases. They did not show all 10 today. I think it was five they showed today. But, but um, so probably we'll see the remaining 10 maybe next month if they do a fan stream or whatever. But, but again, um, what they did show today, starting off with the X-Men, uh, Astonishing X-Men Wolverine figures. So we had seen that prototype leak out uh, the other week. So that has now been officially confirmed. And then along with that, the Superior Spider-Man, which I talked about in Friday's news video where we had seen parts for, again, leak out from overseas, that figure has now been confirmed. So uh, Superior Spider-Man uh, is uh, got an interesting new take with one of the head sculpts. There's two head sculpts. But one has uh, what's supposed to be mimicking like the reflective eyes that, that 
that Otto would have with that costume where when he was web swinging and you would see reflections off of his eyes, uh, one of the head sculpts has that. So there's a regular head sculpt with just normal eyes as well, but again, they were trying something new with this new inkjet uh, reflective eye type thing. So it's not actually reflective, but there's uh, essentially they've painted things in the eyes to look like, you know, things that he's looking at. So again, uh, that figure is coming. You've got the tentacles, uh, pinless technology, uh, toe articulation. So, you know, if you're a fan of this version of Spider-Man, this is one that you probably will want to check out. And then uh, again, the astonishing X-Men Wolverine figure. You are going to get an unmasked head sculpt with this one, multiple pairs of hands. So, um, you know, again, we'd seen uh, the body at least without the head. Uh, leak out about a week ago from an overseas somebody from overseas so so um you know if you're a fan of astonishing x-men then this is one that you're going to want to check out now again both of these figures are going up for pre-order tomorrow at 1 p.m eastern time so april 16th these will be available at places like our sponsors big bad toy store and entertainment earth i believe amazon will have these as well now another figure that they revealed in this line is a uh, new Carol Danvers uh, in her Warbird outfit, you know, Captain Marvel, Warbird, whatever you want to call her. This is going to be a Target store exclusive. This will be going up for pre-order at some later time, but, um, you know, a nice update to Carol Danvers if, if she is a character that you like for your collection. Then they revealed Scar, Son of Hulk. So this is a figure that they had teased in one of their live streams with the sword. So this figure is going to stand over 8 inches tall. You do get two different head sculpts with this one. This one is going to be released as a fan channel exclusive. So essentially pretty much... Uh, Big Bad Toy Store Entertainment Earth. I don't know if Amazon will carry this one or not. Probably not. But but you will definitely be able to get it at places like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And we don't know yet when this one will go up for pre-order. They also showed a two-pack. So they mentioned, they made it sound like there were going to be at least a couple of different multi-packs in this line. But for what they showed today, we are getting Classic Iron Fist. Now this figure is going to have two different head sculpts. Uh, pinless technology with the articulation is also going to have toe articulation so uh, uh, classic iron fist and of course some effect pieces to mimic his abilities and then to go along with iron fist is going to be a new modern luke cage figure so so uh, with just the t-shirt and jeans so we've gotten luke cage before we've gotten modern and classic but but this is an updated modern and you know overall looks pretty good so this is going to be a two pack it's going to be a mainline release so it should be available everywhere however hasbro did not tell us when this one is going to go up for pre-order and then the final reveal that they made today was in my opinion the best reveal and it is a new danny catch ghost rider figure and the best thing about this is yes it will include his motorcycle so the flame effect that they had teased a while back, that's what this was for. So it wasn't for uh, like an Excalibur Phoenix, like a lot of people were speculating. It, it was for this new Ghost Rider figure with his bike. So this is going to be available for pre-order starting on April 30th. This, uh, no word on price yet. So even though uh, this is going to be a must have for me because this is my favorite version of Ghost Rider. Uh, we haven't had uh, his bike since the Toy Biz days. So this is definitely going to be a must have for me. But I don't know what the price is going to be. I'm thinking probably $50 at least. So we'll have to wait and see. This should be available at places like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And again, uh, this will be going up on April 30th. They teased uh, a boulder. So I don't know what this is for. An accessory of some type of boulder or rock that they teased at the end of the live stream. So we'll have to speculate on what that's for. And then they also mentioned that there's going to be another Wolverine figure. There should be another two-pack coming for the anniversary line, the Wolverine anniversary line. So, um, you know, apparently this is one that Dan Young is really looking forward to. Another version of Wolverine that he thinks is like the best version of Wolverine is, is what I think he said. So, uh, again, 
there will be a, at least one more Wolverine coming this year, uh, besides the ones that we've already gotten, and then this new astonishing X-Men Wolverine. Now, besides the Rock tease during the live stream, right afterwards, Hasbro's Dan Young posted this image on his social media feed, and then the thing to note about this image is, if you notice on the table, there appears to be a box labeled Hulkbuster. So this is a figure that has been rumored um, to be coming this year. So I guess we're going to kind of assume this is a confirmation of that, even though we don't actually get to see the figure itself yet. So there are still a number of figures you can see from this list. These are from distributors uh, that leaked out in recent months. So we got a couple of these uh, confirmed today, including uh, figures like the Superior Spider-Man, even though we'd seen uh, parts for that figure already leak out. The Ghost Rider, you can see, was on that list. The Scar figure, though, again, that's something that they had teased. Uh, Warbird on, on Retro Card, though, I guess that's not 100% confirmed or correct because I guess it's not a Retro Card, but it's one of these anniversary uh, figures. So... Um, so but warbird was one of the figures listed now you can see other figures listed here including uh a quicksilver and professor xavier now those said retro cards it's possible those could be part of this new anniversary line it, it's hard to say uh there's things like this four pack with dr doom iron patriot taskmaster and loki so that may be uh part of this anniversary line i'm not sure destiny and mystique two pack that's probably going to be part of this line. Um, Man-Thing, some version of Man-Thing. Um, we've already gotten comic book Man-Thing, so that might be an MCU figure. But again, it's hard to say. Odin. So the person that leaked out the Astonishing X-Men uh, Wolverine and, and the Superior Spider-Man parts supposedly has the Odin figure as well, or at least parts of it. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see that leak out soon. So that should be another figure coming. The Iron Fist with the unknown in this list. Obviously now we know it's Luke Cage. Some type of uh, deluxe Captain America figure sets. We don't know what that is. However, Dan Young has teased that there are more Captain America figures coming this year. So that's probably something uh, in reference to that. Uh, Venom Pool Deluxe set, Venom Anniversary figure, Venom and Carnage set, and then finally Deadpool Movie Colossus Deluxe figure. So those are all figures probably coming because we've seen these on distributor lists. You know, not 100% confirmed by Hasbro, but 9 times out of 10, they do end up being accurate at least in some way you know again they're just named so until we actually see them sometimes it can be off a little bit but like the retro card thing but but again um these are all figures probably coming to the line sometime this year so which one of these exactly are going to be part of this 85th anniversary line that i do not know but you know we will probably be hearing more about these figures in the coming days and months all right so that's all i have for you today but as always i'd love to hear your own thoughts about everything i talked about down in the comments section below like this video if you're so inclined if you'd like to further support the channel by becoming an action figure enthusiast channel member there's a link to how you can do that in the video description below if you're new to the channel please think about subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you're alerted every time i upload a new video as always guys stay safe out there and until next time i'll catch you later thanks for watching today's video now if you're new to the channel please think about hitting that subscribe button also hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. For all the latest action figure news, be sure to head over to ToyNewsEye.com, MarvelousNews.com, JediInsider.com, and TFormers.com. And remember, action figures are great! <laughs>